What is up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Brie Monet and today's video is going to be a wig review from you nice hair now see I made the mistake of running out of storage and I had to do the whole entire video again so I couldn't completely start this video off like how I normally would so just bear with me okay <laughs> so it came with some earrings and it also came with a comb and some eyelashes and a wig cap which I'm wearing right now but this is the wig she doesn't tingle or shed and this is the inside of the wig as you can already see i wore it um like i said before i ran out of storage and it deleted my whole entire video so you could kind of see on my face i'm pissed but this is the lace as well um i didn't have any problem with the lace um the lace actually melted beautifully so i didn't really have to work hard for it as you can see without glue um this is what it looks like i did do the ball cap method in this video um not how to do it but i did have it on when um i first recorded but this is what it looks like without glue so as you can see if i did do the ball cap method it would have been beautiful but again my video deleted for like the fifth time so i use a lace tint in light brown i'm going to leave it in the description box down below so you guys can check it out but this really helped Next, I use Got To Be Spray and I sprayed it on my wig cap. This is what you're going to do in order to do your ball cap method. Make sure you pull your wig cap all the way down and then spray it with Got To Be Glue and blow dry it. So right now, I'm just showing you where to place it. Um, but I would have redid this wig and showed you guys, but I have another wig to do. So it wouldn't have made sense for me to just do it all over again. So when I first put on a wig, I used Got To Be Glue, but I highly suggest that if you're going to have the wig on longer, please use a lace glue. It works, com it works a thousand times better, honestly. And wherever you cut the wig cap at, that's where you put your glue. So then I just take my wax stick and I just make sure that my hair is laid. So I put it in the front and I also just go around, yep, just like that. <laughs> exactly where I'm showing you guys. Then I take my Nairobi mousse, you're going to put it in the same exact spots that you put your elastic, and you're also going to use this for your baby hairs as well. Now the hot comb in the blow dryer is going to be your best friend. Make sure that you are pressing your hair down so it could be laid and I just want to show you guys a close up of the lace. You know what? This lace is bomb. I'm not going to lie. Then take some water and a brush and make sure that you wet your hair. And as you can see, no shedding, no tangles. The hair is really soft as well. Um, after you wet it and you brush it, you're good to go. Okay, so I have to do this really quickly because I'm running out of storage. How? I don't know why this just keeps happening to me well this is what the wig looks like i've been everywhere i was gonna do baby hair how i normally would do it but um i knew i wasn't gonna have this wig on for long because i have to do another wig review so i just kind of did the front and this is what the front looks like as you can see i did tint the lace and yeah this is just what it looks like in the front and then i put baby hair on the side um i don't really like having dramatic baby hair like in the front um but i don't like it to be too much because then it doesn't really look as natural it comes to right here um and this is what it looks like in the back all i put was water in this hair i would definitely put some curly mousse but with water itself as you can see the curls are really cute so when I was looking at the pictures, I'm not trying to say that the pictures are way off because it's not way off. I don't know. I just kind of thought I was going to get kind of the same thing that they showed me. But um, it's actually shorter than what they showed me. I don't know. If, you, if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at this mirror. Because all day I was just telling my mom, I was like, I don't know. I don't know about this. It's not like anything is wrong. I've worked with this company like multiple times. Um, I've never had a problem with their lace, anything. Like I love them. I just don't think the style is for me. Um, it's not something that I would wear, but if you do like the style, then it's for you. I just, nah. 
they did upgrade some stuff now because before in like the little boxes that they give you mine actually came in a pouch but um they give you some goodies so they give you a rat tail comb some earrings and some and some eyelashes i'm probably not going to wear the eyelashes because they're a little bit too full um so i'll probably just cut them up and do like individuals with them i don't know maybe it gotta grow on me or something i'm <laughs> I don't know i highly recommend getting a lace tint it was the most easiest thing to use but you can use like a foundation powder basically that or you can bleach the knots but yeah it was easy to work with um i think it's just the fact that it has to grow on me i i'm not i don't know how i feel about this <laughs> so let it air dry a little bit because i find that when you do have this like extra wet it kind of looks weird but having it really fluffy and you know it still holds on to some moisture i find this cuter than what it looks like just soaking wet but yeah like i said if you guys have any questions about this wig please let me know i'm so sorry i keep running out of storage in my phone i need to fix something because this is not gonna work for me i'm so sick of it just pausing in the middle of stuff and being like you have no storage like gee why i don't do anything on my phone so i don't understand why what was that did my light just get brighter for no reason that was weird but yeah, you guys, that's all I have for you guys today. If you're looking to purchase this wig, make sure you check out the description box down below. Also, check out my Amazon storefront. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!